Good afternoon, my name is Devdat Trivedi. I am going to be talking about careers in filmmaking for uh, RSACE. Uh, I am a film critic. I have written uh, in the past for Scroll. Presently, I write for Film Critic Circle of India and I also teach uh, film theory at Ramesh Sippy. Uh, Academy of Cinema and Entertainment. Now, I thought instead of giving you the normal talk on uh, how, you know, what you can do in film, I thought I'll give you a sort of theoretical, philosophical breakdown of what filmmaking essentially is uh, comprises of. So I've got this theoretical basis. So essentially what you have in film is you have image, sound, and story, right? Uh, so I'm going to uh, break cinema into image, sound, and story. And uh, film making as a condition of potentiality or condition of possibility for creating images and sounds and of course telling stories. One thing I'd like to uh, point out uh, before you choose to join the film line, one thing that I always tell people is that you should try to um, watch a film and once you like a film, keep asking yourself, what is it about this film that I like so much? Why this kind of film? And then how can, how do, how are such films produced? How is the image sound working? How is uh, the storytelling working? So um, essentially you have the image. Now I'm going to break the image up in a sort of metaphysical way into space, time and matter. Right? Space, this is a space, you can see the fan there, windows at the back. And I have to talk till a particular time, so that's time. And matter, all the matter in the image is myself, the chair, the clothes I'm wearing, uh, the phone. Space, time, matter. And how space, time and matter uh, sort of coordinate themselves into the taking of a shot. Right. Uh, so when you talk about uh, sound, you have the sound recordist. You you can be you know if you're interested in instruments, if you're interested in playing music, uh, playing the guitar or the sitar, or you're interested in rhythms. You know how can you study cinema as a set of rhythms? You know this this is why sound becomes important. The other aspect is of course the image now you would say why is he talking about sound first and not the image first that's a kind of ideological uh, struggle i've taken where i talk about sound and the importance of sound but now i'm going to talk about uh, image for some time and as someone has said you know what does uh, the assistant camera do the assistant camera essentially cameraman uh, uh, is uh, addresses the focus, the distance between the shot, the lenses to be used and all of that, right? So that's what a camera assistant does. So I'm going to talk about cinematography in film. Uh, we usually talk about taking a shot, a cameraman as a cinematographer, but cinematography is also writing with images and sounds. Cinema is a writing with images and sound. So the cinematographer shoots the image, you coordinate it with the sound, and then you have storytelling, right? Image, sound, storytelling, image comprising of space, time, matter, and sound as being the other track. So this is essentially what goes into making a film. Uh, you have the cinematographer recording the image. I use the word recording very deliberately. Uh, you have the sound recordist recording the sound. And this is what goes in the taking of the shot. And the idea of the director as being some kind of music coordinator or music conductor, you know, who's just trying to fine tune all the different uh, things happening in 
uh, the image sound or sound image combination. So this is something that uh, uh, is one level of coordination and the other level of coordination is of course the production of the film. That is what goes into taking a shot in a particular way, what goes into, you know, uh, setting up the uh, the resources, the logistics for setting up the shot, you know, you have to uh, coordinate so many different things. So that's production, you know. So essentially, um, I'm talking about sound, I'm talking about recording of the sound, image, and then you have the post-production where you have the editor who co coordinates image to sound and sound to image. And of course, at RSACE, we have VFX and other such uh, uh, streams where you can work on the image after it has been produced. So once again, I would kindly request you to uh, take a step back watch films, think about why you like a particular kind of film and how are these films made. You know, you can read literature. For example, I'm going to do a bit of, uh, I'm going to suggest a book that you can um, uh, Can we learn camera without joining a film school? I don't think so. I think in today's time, it's very essential to join a film school, make films, see how films are made. Uh, and uh, yeah, so it's, it's film school, gone are the days when, you know, people would say that, oh, he's a uh, cinematographer, filmmaker, or editor who hasn't attended film school. Those days are just gone. You have to attend film school, get into a regiment, uh, and one of the things that happens in this regiment is that you make films like duh and when you make films you show them to your faculty and they should tear you apart you know it's a very good exercise you complain about it when you're in the course right and but it's very very essential you know like i've when i where i studied uh you know on crit day we would call it crit because critique, you walk around the corridor and everybody will just be crying because their performance or their film or their paper has been torn to shreds, you know. So that's a very important exercise, you know. Don't take it personally. Am I so bad? No. This is a process which you have to go through uh, while engaging uh, film school. So um, one exercise that I would recommend is, you know, you look, learn how to look, learn how to see an image, you know, how do you look at an image? Is, is there justice in an image? Is it a just image? What is happening with the sound? Uh, and also a particular kind of reading, you know, I actually mean that you should read books, you know. Uh, I'm going to suggest a book by Amit Tatta. It's called, it's a, you know, I would have actually suggested Anna Robrier's books, but uh, closer to home, there's Kaljai Kambakt by Amit Tatta, which is available. And you can read this book to see how, Amit Tatta, of course, is a filmmaker, to see how he has engaged filmmaking, the act of filmmaking, uh, in the... A form of writing uh, we can go through with internet as well no I, I don't think so you have to be there in an institution with your prof um, many of my colleagues just say that we want to make and this is something that I don't understand I don't want to make it about me but uh, making a film very young without going to film school just to make that but you need that regiment you know you need that regiment right uh, where you're watching films making films watching films making films and then eventually you make your short film Sharan you make your short film eventually and you apply to festivals right but before that you need a lot of training in film viewing 